It's your girl, Queen, reminding you guys to connect with us on patreon.com slash tmgfam, where you can get full exclusive access to all content, bonus videos, behind the scenes, vlogs, lives, and so much more. What's good, TMG fam? It's your boy, L, and I'm back with another reaction video, man. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to comedy hour now it's about to go down if you have little kids around this is my disclaimer man get them up out of there it's about to go down we don't know what these comments are gonna say but we can guarantee no we can't even guarantee it's gonna be funny but we hope it's gonna be funny this dude we've built a little bit of a rapport with and he's actually been very very hilarious man this is josh wolf we're gonna be checking him out this is it's your closet and we're gonna check out weird body hair <laughs> Just saying weird body hair is already making me laugh, all right? So, ladies, kick back, relax, let your hair down, leave all your troubles and your problems that you dealt with for the day out there. Fellas, pour you up in your ladies. Something nice to drink. Pour you up in your lady. No, don't do that. Pour you and your lady up something nice to drink. If you just buy yourself, pour yourself something nice. And uh, let's get into it, man. Comedy hour. Here we go. You don't have these problems with daughters. Like, I don't have that problem. My, my daughter doesn't challenge me to a fight. The only problem I ever had with my daughter is that she's been smarter than me since she was six. <laughs> and, like, half the time when we're sitting in our living room, I didn't understand a word that was coming out of her mouth. Like, we'd be in my living room, I'd be like, what's up, baby? She's like, uh-huh, I'm like, 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 it's like having a fucking dolphin in my living room, right? <laughs> she tells me everything, too. She came home one day and she was like, oh my god, daddy, I have to tell you something so important. Oh my god, daddy, oh my god, daddy, oh my god, daddy. Okay, daddy, oh my god, daddy, okay, daddy. Oh my god, daddy, oh my god, daddy, oh my god, daddy. Oh my god, daddy, oh my god, daddy, okay, daddy, oh my god, daddy. Chris tried to kiss me. And I was like, Oh my God. <laughs> I said, what happened, babe? And she said, oh my God, daddy. I told him I wasn't sure if I was allowed to do that. I had to go home and ask my daddy. <laughs> and I said, you know what, babe? Thank you very much for asking. Look, I know you're a teenager and, and your hormones are running crazy and, 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 and you don't know what to do, you know? You, you, it's hard, hard time, you know? And you... I, ah, thank you. Man, I don't have little girls. I didn't have to go through this. I have to deal with boys, but <sighs> little girls, that part, right? That part? Ah, I couldn't handle it. I, could, I couldn't handle that part. So, yes, I wish for boys, and I got two, and I stopped there. So, <sighs> God bless you all who have girls, especially to the men. The, or the hormones are up, and they're down, and... Look, I know it's a hard time, and I'm not going to tell you what to do and what not to do because I don't think that's my job as your father. My job as your father is just to tell you what I know. And what I know is, is that God doesn't let little hookers into heaven. <laughs> <laughs> now, that is exactly exactly something I would say. That is me right there in a sense. I would definitely, maybe not use hooker, but hooker tramps. Just something to scare the living whatever out of her, bro. Just, it, it, I, I'm telling you, that is me. Do whatever you want to do with that information, babe. Oh my God, that ain't huh? of what's happening here. It's not their fault. Any man, any guy in here will tell you things used to pop up all the time for no apparent reason. And it was confusing to us. I remember sitting in math class like... And the teacher always thought I was cheating. I was just checking to see if anybody else was hard. I'm like... Hey. Guess nobody likes geometry as much as I do. And then you, you catch one. You, we're grown. That's why I told you to kick, kick, kick the kids out. We're grown. 
and then you catch one, and then they want to ask you to walk up to the board and do something. Oh, man. And the people didn't understand the struggles of a teenage boy, man. You never understand the struggles. <laughs> Teacher was like, Mr. Wolf, you can leave. Math class is over. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. Picked a bad day to wear sweatpants is all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Me and the chick who just got her period for the first time, we're going to hang out here for a little while. You don't mind it. <laughs> terrible age that was. I'll tell you something about my daughter, man. You learned really early on with her, she is a ride or die person. If you are on her team, she is on your team forever. Here's when I knew there was no snitch in her. When I met my wife, I was uh, a single and I was raising three kids, right? And in my deal, she and I had both decided, we were like, look, it's not important for her to meet the kids until we know we're gonna get married. Because neither one of us thought it was good for her to start a relationship with them until we knew it was a forever relationship for us, right? So she used to come over after the kids went to sleep and then she would go home. So one night, it's late and um, she says to me, uh, I don't, I, I can't really drive home tonight, I'm too tired. And I was like, well babe, the first time the kids meet you can't be tomorrow morning in my bed, that is not okay. She said, I know, but I don't know what to do. And I said, well, do you want me to get your car and then I'll get your car back here tomorrow and you can drive your car, car home? And she said, I'm just so tired. She said, do you mind if I just sleep in your closet? And I was like, so let me just see if I got this right. You're coming over and we are dinner, we're gonna have sex, and then you're gonna sleep in the closet? And she was like, yeah, and I go, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but so she goes to sleep in the closet, right? Next morning, I'm up, and my deal with the kids was, I make breakfast, I make lunch, you get yourselves dressed. So my daughter runs in, and I'm cooking breakfast, and she goes, Daddy, I can't find my shoes. And I go, babe, you know I'm making breakfast, I can't help you out. And she goes, I, I don't know where, I looked everywhere. And I said, you didn't look everywhere. Go find the shoes. <laughs> so, about three minutes later, she runs in and she goes, yeah, I still can't find my shoes and there's a stranger sleeping in your closet. <laughs> And I go, okay, babe, uh, thank you. I said, I'll help you find your shoes. And she goes, okay. I go, just out of curiosity, Kate, there's a stranger sleeping in my closet. That's the reaction I get? And on her way out of the kitchen, she goes, it's your closet, Daddy. I don't know what happens in your closet. <laughs> and I was like, well, I'm going to bury some bodies with that girl. That's she. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what? My sons, a million questions. A million questions would have followed. I, all the way down to her name and a social security number. They would have just had to have known. I couldn't have got away with that. I have to tell you one of my other favorite conversations, and this one I, I didn't see coming. I had talked to a dude, okay, there was a cab driver, who, who, <laughs> who whose hair on the front of his neck connected to the hair on the back of his neck. <laughs> I want to tell you what he called it. He called it a natural turtleneck. <laughs> yeah, it was like, huh. <laughs> a natural turtleneck. <laughs> uh, and he said to me, because I was looking at him, and he was like, you. Yeah. You notice in my neck, huh? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and he goes, yeah, I call it a natural turtleneck. And I go, uh huh. And so we started talking about body hair. And, uh, okay. So then we started talking about like single long body hairs that you have on random parts of your body. Does, that, does anyone have like one long body hair that sticks out of a spot? Oh, she's waving your hand. All right, here. <laughs> That large weight you feel on your back is that bust she just threw you under, so... <laughs> you might as well explain it yourself, man. Where's your, where's your one long hair? Right on my shoulder. Right on your shoulder. Oh, that's not that crazy. And is it the same color as the other? I think so. <laughs> it is? 
Have you never seen it before? Yeah, and it's, and it does, how long do you let it grow? Oh, she's going like this. Oh. Yeah, but if you let it grow like that, that seems like that seems like a rebellion kind of thing. You're like, fuck you, I'm going as long as I can. Fuck you. My shoulder, my hair, I'm gonna fucking grow. I'm gonna break that motherfucker. You know, I have one. I have one. I have one. I actually have two. One I have in my eyebrow, and and I and my wife hates it, so I'll I never cut it. And we lay in bed at night, and I'll just look at her, and I'll twirl it. Just vindictive, bro. Vindictive. I can't lie. I'd do the same thing if I had something like that, man. Like, just be vindictive with it for no apparent reason whatsoever. Just the fact that we just like to be vindictive. Like a super villain. Like <laughs> but the other one I have, I have a, I have a long hair that comes out of my right nostril. And when I tug on it, it closes my right eyelid. <laughs> Like a window shade or some stupid shit. And I pull it, but I think it's attached to my brain. I don't wanna. I think it's gonna make me dumber than I am. I don't know. Okay, I'm, I am gonna tell you the weirdest single hair I, I encounter I've ever had. And I told the cab driver this. The weirdest one I ever had, I, there was this girl I, I was dating in high school. And uh, I was uh, was kissing her boob for the first time. Uh, he's going to say nipple hair. Uh, yeah, that's It's a weird spot. And you don't really know how you feel about it. But you love boobs and nipples. Uh, I think that's where he's going. Uh, if that's the case, we've all been met with that challenge. Right when I said that, my man here was like, yeah, I'm listening. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That was a little too white. We went like this, we went like this, we went like this. We went like this. We went like this. So, and although I don't know if you can get too white here in this town, so. Pretty white. Uh, so, um, so I, was, I was kissing her boob, and I used to have hair down the middle of my back. And, uh, thanks for the confirmation. Uh, yeah, he was like, yeah, okay, all right. Some positive energy in here, man. I really like that. So, <laughs> kissing her boob, right? I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't have to. <laughs> So, I'm kissing her boob, and I get one of my hairs in my mouth, right? So. Oh, my bad. He, he wasn't talking about her. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, I really wanted to get rid of it, so I just yank on it. And she goes, ah, oh, that one belongs to me. And I was like, oh. a thick one you know like you like you could have made rope with that hair you know the kind of hair i'm talking about like it was in the cartoon it would have went like one of those hairs right i asked her i go oh uh do, do you want me to pull that and she goes no I think it gives me character. I was like, you're wrong. Uh, not what it gives you. Oh, man. She said it gives her character. He said, no. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Oh, I might have to double back on this video with Queen whenever she comes back. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I might have to double back. Y'all let me know in the comment section, should I double back on this one with Queen? Just to see her face would be hilarious on this one right here. So y'all let me know. Get at me in the comment section, man. Leave a like, share the video, subscribe, and stick around and stay tuned, man. It's your boy L to the next reaction. I'm out. Peace, man. Y'all stay solid. Hey.